Welcome back, bloggers. In today's entry, I will be discussing the character connections between Ellie McGowan from Mercy Among the Children, as well as Cassandra from The Myth. So, throughout Mercy Among the Children by David Adams Richards, Ellie is continuously overlooked due to her state of poverty and her reputation as a hopeless woman who marries a poor man for love. Her peers in society often use Ellie as her opinions and emotions are unvalued by those around her. Rudy Bellinger shares a similar view towards Ellie as he sees her as a woman whose purpose is solely to please men. In a quote from Mercy, the first part of the book, Lyle reflects on the treatment of his mother as he says, It became clear to any person willing to think it through that those who were trying to help her, as Miss Wind was, and those who would use her, as Rudy had, were essentially the same type of person. Both felt superior to her and felt their humanity not only superior, but different in kind from hers. So Rudy takes advantage of Ellie since he views her as an easy target. This superiority that is often displayed by the community towards the Henderson family is very destructive, although they never let it destroy their hope for the future. Ellie's inferiority to those around her is similar to Cassandra in a sense that Apollo tricks her into agreeing to answer his beck and call for eternity. Once Cassandra agrees with his wishes, Apollo grants her the gift of prophecy, although she fails to uphold her end of the deal. This leads Apollo into a state of rage as he cannot reverse the gift, but he instead evolves her prophecies to be perceived as lies. In both pieces of literature, both Rudy and Apollo are able to control Ellie and Cassandra due to their superior attitudes. These women are continuously at a loss once they refuse sexual advances. Ellie is sexually assaulted while Cassandra is cursed forever. Both of these dramatic measures cause extreme despair to the women as they are stripped of a sense of belonging. Overall, women are oppressed due to the nature of their times and the influence of the men in their lives. So that's the end of my vlog for today. Thank you all for listening and I hope you had a good weekend.